Christ Jesus, ought not you be loose today? Shouldn't you be well today? Shouldn't you be out of debt today? Shouldn't your financial situation get healed today? Glory to God. <laughs> All right. I love, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love how fired up Brother Copeland is in that little short clip at the beginning. And yeah. if you can't get fired up watching that, then you need prayer. <laughs> and, but you've come to the right place. Welcome, everybody, to the final night of the Midwest Victory Campaign here in Southfield, Michigan. It is great to have you with us. It's great to have all of you with us. And it has a, been a great weekend. Has it not been a great yeah. weekend? Amen. Oh, my gosh. Amen. Wow. Uh, you know, when you, when you have a job, of course, I don't really consider what I do a job, but I, I get to do this, really. Uh, but, but when you have a job, you guys can be seated, by the way, if you want to. When you have a job, you know, uh, sometimes you have to work with people and you get to work with people. Well, in my case, overwhelmingly, I get to work with the people I work with. And a lot of the people, even folks that are not on staff, like my first guest tonight, are just a joy to be around and work with when I get an opportunity to do that. This is Patrick and Dee Vandiver. How are you guys doing tonight? Great. Good. Yeah, you Very guys have good. seen Patrick on stage this week helping out with praise and worship. Thanks, God. Yeah. Uh, of course, you guys ha have been uh, connected with us for a long time. Yes. Uh, you were trained at Rhema. Uh, and, uh, in fact, you have got to tell the story that you just told me because I didn't know it before oh, okay. you told me about the first time that you saw Brother Copeland. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, a few months before that, I was in college and... Uh, uh, Brother Hagen came to town and his uh, worship team sang at our church and they asked our pastor, and I played piano at the church, Yeah. and they asked our pastor if he knew of a piano player that they needed, Brother Hagen needed a piano player. So long story short, I dropped out of college uh, a day later <laughs> and moved to Tulsa to work for Brother Hagen, right. having never heard of Brother Hagen. Only do that if God tells you to, by yeah. the way. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly, right. <laughs> I was like 18. And uh, so I went to work there and I'm just immersed in Word of Faith. Like, it's like just amazing, yeah. overwhelmingly great. And uh, one of the first conferences we had there um, that Dad Hagen had there in Tulsa, um, uh, Brother Kenneth and Miss Gloria were there. And uh, Dad Hagen called him up to the platform and he's like, I've got a song. And so he starts singing and I'm at the, at the piano and I start to play for him. So I got to play for Brother Copeland when I was 19. Aren't you glad? 19. Did, did yeah. you know the song? Uh, no, it was, it was a song of the Lord. The oh, Lord so, has given him oh, the so it was a Holy Ghost song. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And so it was a uh, And you were, you it said was a you were 19? You said you were 19 at the time? Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Well, but it, it was, was a little nervous, nervous maybe? Uh, I, it was, I was just caught up in the moment. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was like a dream, all I'm of sure. it. I mean, just, yeah. it was just so powerful and, yeah. and such a, a real quick immersion into <laughs> the whole word of faith. Yeah. And, movement. and Dee, you were saying you, at, at, right around that same time, you were going to ORU. I, I was, I was a sophomore transfer into Oral Roberts University and, uh, my roommate, the very first day of school had grown up in the Word of Faith, had a suitcase and tapes. <laughs> tapes by Brother Copeland, uh, Brother Savelle, Brother Hagen, and that's when my school and foundation began uh, that sophomore year with her. Yeah. And, uh, you know, became familiar with the laws of prosperity, walking in the spirit, all of the, just the foundation of faith. That would be my heritage of faith. Had you ever heard anything like that before? No, I came out of a denomination. I'd only been saved a little over a year. Yeah. And knew nothing. Right. And so I got immersed my first first year into all of that, and uh, it was a great foundation. And you became a partner with KCM I did. long before you met Pat. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so the ministry has been just vital to me. I remember, if I can tell a story real sure. quick, um, I was living part-time in Boulder, Colorado, and the 100-year flood came in, I think this was 2013. Uh, our condo was across, this is uh, in a first marriage, um, across the street from the Boulder Creek. Rain and rain, rain had been raining up in the mountains, and there was a debris ball that had formed in creeks, meaning there was so much rain, there's mudslides, and it's just a ball that starts in the water of all the debris, and it was coming into Boulder. Wow. And so the, the creek was rising, and I could see it from my condo, and I was sitting there watching it from the windows, and I thought, oh my, I couldn't think of exactly yeah. what to say. I was just waiting on the Lord, what to say, what to say, how to speak, what to speak, and I thought, call the prayer line. 
called the prayer line. Wow. And so I did, and a girl named Crystal, I've since met her, she answered, and I told her what was happening, and she had the words. So we had the two of us were on earth. She, I agreed with her, yeah. and that water, I saw it rise, but it did not come into any of anybody's property. Praise the Lord. It came right up to the condo yeah. building. So Power of agreement, that's amazing. really good. It was yeah. 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 So. so let me ask you, have you always been able to sing as good as you do right now? I mean, have you, well, did, I, was it natural for I you? I appreciate that you, that you think that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got that's hired. That's not a faith statement, by the yeah. way. That's true. I believe well, I, it. I got hired as a keyboard player, and I wanted to sing really bad, and people are like, you need to stick with playing piano. That's where you're gifted, you know. So, so uh, but. You know, there again, just using those laws of <laughs> laws of believing and receiving. No, I, uh, I, it was a desire of my heart, and uh, yeah. and praise God, I, apparently it got better over yeah. time. The more, more. Now, I did it. you guys got together and now have a ministry together. What what is it that you guys do together? You travel around. I know you do some stuff with Mark Hankins and other people that you're associated with through Rama. Yes. Uh, what is it like now to give back to the people that have been so instrumental in your life? Oh man, it's it's amazing. I, and I never knew I'd be working uh, at all with uh, with Brother Copeland's ministry too. It's just like everything's like full circle, like yeah. how it's yeah. how it's gone gone around. But it's um, it's a blessing. I I lead worship uh, for different ministries and and uh, at conferences, and then we minister some on our own as yeah. well. My wife teaches and. Um, yeah. We're, you know, getting to to work together. <laughs> Our first date was while I was uh, uh, working with uh, Brother Copeland there, right after his uh, New Year's Eve service, yeah. one year. But uh, yeah. anyway, so we've only been married two and a half years now. Yeah. But it's been an adventure. <laughs> it's been been amazing. And uh, her first husband passed away, but God had a plan, and yeah. and uh, it was. Uh, it was heaven on earth for me. I don't know about her. She'll yeah. speak for <laughs> herself. Yeah, not, not to put you on the spot or it's anything. It's heaven on earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. D, about 30 seconds, your uh, partnership with KCM and the impact this ministry has had on your life. Well, it's profound. It's life-changing. Uh, when they say that one word from God can change your life forever, it's true. Absolutely. And it sets, your, sets you on course for a path of victory, the faith line that Brother Copeland talks about. Even if you get off, you can get right back on. There's forgiveness, cleansing, and it's like none of that ever happened. Yeah. It's, it's really been life-changing yeah. and um, just priceless. Yeah. It's priceless. Yeah, well, we appreciate both of you and, appreciate and, you. and, the, and supply you bring to what we do. Praise it's really, I, and I, like I said before, I am privileged to get to do what I do with folks like you. Thank oh, you. Man, we Thank love you. you. Yeah. you Thank too. you so much. You know, Thank we talk you. about partners all the time. You've heard Brother Copeland talk about it. You've heard me talk about it. But I'd like for you to hear from, from our staff members, some of those folks that work at KCM every day about what we think about you. Staff, take it away. There's nothing more gratifying and, and, and pleasing to my spirit to be able to minister a partner. And when you get off the phone, you know there was a connection made and they received from the Lord. There's nothing like it. I can say like the Apostle Paul in Philippians, they're in my heart. I truly love every one of them. And they mean a lot to this ministry. I know Brother Copeland loves the partners. That love is contagious. I love my partners. I love the ones I talk to on the phone. Um, they're ever in our heart with all that we do. Um, in customer service. I know in customer service, um, we get uh, like a lot of calls and sometimes they're because they're having, um, just going through or something isn't working the way they want it to. But we're able to help them and be able to bless them. It's not just customer service. We're actually being able to pray for them and meet the needs in that um, capacity. The partners aren't just another person in the world, that's our family. And uh, it's just a place for us to connect with them and be there for them. And, you know, we always go through tribulation and everything. And so to have an outlet where you can send in and say, hey, my sister, my brother, my mother, my father, I'm going through this, help me through it, pray over me, give me scriptures, and we get to be that for them. What I enjoy most about working at KCM is connecting with our partners one-on-one. -on -one. 
There is literally nothing better for me than being able to sit down with a partner and just hear their story, connect with them on a deeper level than just, hi, how are you? We're so glad you're here. Um, and really hear who they are and what God's done in their lives. It's To me, it's one of the favorite parts of my job. Oh, I love the partners. Without them, I mean, what would we do? I mean, it's, he's, they're, they are the reason that we're here right now. And they are the reason that we, we, we go forth and we do what we are called to do, to minister the truth of God's Word, to set, see the captives set free. All our partners' faith is on the line all the time for God to move in their lives extraordinary. And um, to see that come to fruition is just amazing. I'd say there are some of the most genuine and authentic believers out there uh, really holding on to everything Pastor George and Terry and Pastor uh, you know, Brother Copeland and Sister Gloria teach. Um, they are always seeking God and, and looking for the next thing and um, are, are really willing to give up everything for the Lord. Well, we do love you partners, and uh, the, the, obviously that was not scripted. Those folks were speaking from the heart, and we appreciate you guys so much. You know, I mentioned at the top, again, about how sometimes you have to work with people, and you get to work with people. This guy that's with me tonight, my second guest, I've known for over 25 years, I think. Over 30 years. Over 30 years. 30 years. Wow. 31 years, Tim. 31 years. This is Dale Mock. Uh, welcome, Dale. Now, listen, uh, some of you recognize him, but some of you may not. Dale usually sits way back in the back, and when the lights go up and down, that's him playing. He gets to play with the lights all day. That's his job. He gets to play with the lights. But uh, Dale is part of a program on Victory that is one that we really love doing. It's called Home Group. How many of you have watched Home Group? Yeah. Well, then you'll recognize Dale. Dale is one of the regulars on Home Group, and uh, he's not just a lighting director. Dale is a minister of the gospel. Uh, he ministers to to people all over the world. And that, when he comes on the road, that's what we do. We minister it to is people, don't exactly we? exactly what we do. Uh, that home group program, uh, it, it, tell me about that uh, and how much fun you have doing that program. Oh, I have the best time, Tim. <laughs> you know me, I love talking. <laughs> I love people. The, um, the home group started out as an idea. Well, we basically pretty much at the office, we sit around and talk to each other. Yeah. You know, we also work, you know. <laughs> But, you Mostly know, work. as a revelation comes to you, you know, you share with people in the office, you know, at the ministry. Yeah. And you back, you know, you're bantering back and forth, you know, you add scripture to this, add scripture to that. And, uh, you know, in about 10 minutes, we're all shouting. Right. So, you know, the home group pretty much came out of that. Yeah. We, three or four of us. And you the know. concept is, you know, back in the old days, back in the old days, yeah. people would have home groups at their yeah. home. They would have people come over. That's really the whole concept and, behind it. And Brother Copeland, he started off with, That's the, right. with, the, the, with the prayer, prayer group, group. The prayer right. group, right. That, that yeah. was the basis of that also. Yeah. Yeah, the one thing people enjoy, I think, so much about you and, and, that, and that program in general is the fact that it's just real. I mean, it, we just, we talk about stuff that people can relate to and oh yeah I went through that same kind of thing yeah we're we're real honest we uh we are we, we are. air our laundry <laughs> if you want to put it way good and bad right good and bad I was yeah. talking to a gentleman this this morning he said hey I watch you on home group he said I feel like I know you we feel like we're family <laughs> right and as he's leaving he's going your stories the good ones yeah and the bad ones yeah so that's what I appreciate about brother Copeland yeah. right he tells you how he went through it Right. How the, war, the Lord worked with him, gave him a scripture, yeah. brought him through, through directions. And that's the way a mentor or a teacher yeah. or a coach, you know, however you want to couch that, right? Right. You know, tell you the good stuff, the bad stuff. Yeah. I'm looking for the guy that, him and his wife. <laughs> is it you? It's a pleasure meeting you. The bad story is what you sound like. The bad the story. The bad story. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to, now, now, I talked about the fact that you minister to people, a lot of different groups, but one of the groups that you minister to back home uh, is a group of guys that society sometimes says are not worth the time. They're guys that have been, uh, you know, incarcerated or right. have had trouble in their life, but those are a group of guys that, that you have a heart for, aren't they? Yeah, they're, um, these guys are coming in off the streets, um, getting over heroin, getting over crack, uh, come, coming in from prison, right? Yeah. So... Um, I draw a lot when I teach. Oh, you, you do. I draw you gotta a lot. See this, you you got to see this guy. It's awesome. So um, 
the first thing I write on the board to them, I say, you know, you know I teach this. I do not teach behavior modification. I teach belief modification. So if, so if you, you all know this, right? If you can change your belief, you'll change your behavior, right? Yeah. It's automatic. It's automatic. So, yeah. so we, you know, I, I, none other class I teach is, it's a freedom class that we get to teach at church. So I could say, I'm not going to teach you how to become free. Yeah. I'm not going to teach you that. Right. I'm going to teach you how you were made free. So it's, it's two different thoughts. If you can realize that you were made free. Yeah and that you were made the righteousness of God, right. and not even by your choice, mm. right? Yeah. He chose you, yeah. he chose you. He said, this is my will. This is what I wanna do for you, Dale. I want to make you free. So right. that's a different cornerstone that you're working from yeah. rather than trying to get free. That's You've right. You've been made free. Yeah, you and I had this conversation today about the fact that we feel like, a lot of people feel like they have to earn Right. What God gave them. And that's not true at all, is it? That's not true. Well, that's not grace number one. Right. 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 And then if it, you know, it's actually self-righteousness. You know what I did today? (laughs) You know how I pulled that off today? Right. No, I want to, I want to say, you know how God pulled this off for me. I'm more than a conqueror because of what Jesus Christ did. I rest in that. Right. And so I moved from that position. I move from a victorious position instead of trying to achieve victory. Right. It's been achieved for me. Yeah. So from that point, right? Yeah. I would do good works from there because right. I have a whole different belief. Right. But, but, but then again, it's not about the works. No, it's not about That's the works. That's the thing. Yes. Yeah, because people have that misnomer as well. Right. So <laughs> you, could, you could write works and you could write behavior right after it. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. So my works or my behavior is based in a belief. My belief is that I've been made free. Yes. So a person that's been made free, I really enjoy sitting around talking to them. The, or, and then you can also find ministry opportunities that people believe they have to become free. Yeah. So let me right. take all the pressure off of you. Right. God's decided to make you free. It is his will. He decided. Right. Remember the new covenant says, this is what I will do. Right. I will remember, I, I will, I will. He said, I, I will. will be merciful yeah. to their unrighteousness. Yeah. I will right. for, forget their sins right. and iniquities. Yeah. I, I choose to do this. Otherwise, we're, we're making all these choices and then we try to live up to them. Absolutely. I'm just going to go ahead and say, Lord, you made these choices. I agree with you. I'm, move, I'm working with that. It works a lot better when you agree with him. Oh, it? man. <laughs> well, it's called righteousness when you agree with him. Oh, my God. There you go again. <laughs> there you go again about the righteousness thing. Yeah, I'm telling you. Right? Let's bring it back around to the home group. What do people, what will people receive if they watch that program? What is it they're going to get out of that program? Well, a lot of people, uh, we get to talk to a lot of folks and, and they'll say, what I enjoy about home group is you're not talking at, at me. me. Yep you're talking to me. Yes. So we encourage people to call in with questions. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's kind of funny. We could be talking about how to rebuild a transmission. Right. And they don't want to talk about rebuild the transmission. They, they've got certain questions about their marriage or about yeah. their children. So I want to encourage you all, if you're watching Home Group, and please do watch Home right. Group. We want you as a, as a customer base, I'd call you a customer base. I want to know, we want to know yeah. what you want. Yeah. You, we want some topics. What so, can we help you walk through? What can we help you realize that yes. you're free from? Yes. <laughs> yes. Because you are. Because you are free Because you're totally from. free from them. You're totally yeah. free. Yeah. You're totally free. Well, Home Group now airs every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock Eastern time. So write that down because I know it used to be on Thursday and all of you got used to seeing it on Thursday. It's now on Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern time. So make sure that you write that down. Put it in your phone. Put an alarm in your phone. You guys all have smartphones. Put an alarm in your phone that tells you, hey, turn on Home Group on victory because it's going to be good and invite your friends invite your friends, friends. and maybe your enemies yeah that's a, that's a huge part that was mentioned yeah, <laughs> yeah them too. work through that <laughs> so uh, being, being influenced right? yes yes so call your friends your family yeah. things like that and say hey yeah. there's a really good show right there's one guy that we had testimony from he said i'm not watching any christian television yeah and then he watched us he said oh these people are like telling their 
Yeah, oh, their stuff. Their stuff. I think I listened to them. And the man got saved. Praise God. Right? He, he's coming Isn't that to church. Good? He was actually at Southwest this year. Oh, right. that's great. So we are that reaching a group great. of people, right? That's awesome. Thank you for doing this. You have to come you. back. Well, we, we may have to do a whole other half hour with Dale sometime. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Love hey, you guys. Yeah. Listen, uh, thank you. You know, uh, when we came to town this week, obviously, you know what we've been doing in here, but we've had teams out. Uh, out and among the community this week doing some things and I wanted to share with you uh, one of the outreaches that we've done this week and I know it's going to bless you so team take it away how's everybody doing it's good to see y'all we just wanted to be a blessing with you. We have some gift cards we want to give you. So I have for each of you, I have a gift card to Walmart um, for $250. We wanted to come and love on the people of the city. So he, here's a preloaded gift card to Walmart for $250 so that we can take care of your groceries this week. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know that they love you. It's probably not a good idea for me to watch something like that when I still got another interview to do. Wasn't that special? Uh, partners, you did that. Partners, you did that. Yeah. Uh, my final guests tonight uh, are from, from local. They're local folks, uh, and they're just doing what most of us uh, always say we're going to do, but some people wind up not doing, and Say, and that is doing what God told you to do. <laughs> we all want to do that, but uh, this is a really cool story, and uh, I've got to get right on it. This is uh, Pastor Philip and Bernadette Smith. Uh, hi. Hi. It's good to see you. you. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. <laughs> uh, you got, of course, you're a pastor, so obviously obeying God is something that you know how to do, but uh, <laughs> sometimes God tells us to do stuff that's kind of outside what we, know, what we think is the norm. Talk about what God kind of told you to do. Sure, totally. At what point in your well, life? Yeah, a few, a few years back, um, I was invited to a, a political event and I had just got home from out of town and I said, well, no, I'm not going to attend. I'm going to rest. So I began to lie down and rest and the Lord said, get up and go. I said, no, but the Lord said, go. Go. So I did. I went to the event. I've never done that, by the way. I'm sure right? none of us have ever done that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. <know. laughs> yeah. And so I, I attended the event, and, and at the event, um, a lady walked up to me, and she said, well, will you be our next speaker? And I said, sure. Well, that's how we began to get, the Lord launched us out into politics. And right. If we were not in that arena, and if I had yeah. not obeyed God, I think it's so important that we follow God and, and sure. walk in obedience. And yeah. in doing that, the Lord just opened up many doors yeah. for us to be able to minister uh, and to um, just counsel and be there for the heads of the states. Yeah. In many situations, they've come to us and asked our advice as early as two, a few days ago. They met with us and they wanted our opinion on the abortion issue, on yeah. the homosexuality issue. And yeah. just throughout the last 10 years, yeah. they've been seeking our counsel. So I think it's so vital it, that we as believers. Absolutely. And, and it's really important for pastors, isn't it? It is. Still, I mean, sometimes pastors think that's an area we don't need to go in, but it's not true. It's vitally important that we engage in our culture. Yes. We, we have to bring the fragrance of the aroma of God into every circumstance of our life and our culture. We have to be engaged in the culture. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, because they're going to come to us and ask us things about abortion and, th and we yes, got to know the answer. Exactly. And we, we do know the answer. Right. We have the answer because we know the one that is the answer, exactly. right? Totally. And, and so what you're saying is just do what God told you to do. Uh, yes. Because 
don't worry about the doors. He'll take care of the doors. Exactly. You take care of the obedience. Obedience, yes. <laughs> Yeah. So, exactly. and God's promoted you. You, you. you ran for an office. And I did, yes. The Lord, I, um, it's a volunteer position for a state committee woman, and I had no intention on going. This is another thing of being, yeah. of being obedient. I told my husband, I said, you can go ahead to the meeting. I'm going to stay home. He was on his way out the door, and the Lord said, you didn't ask me. So I said, do you want me to go? He said, yes, go. So when I went to the meeting, I was approached again. Yeah. I want you to run for this position. Well, there's an incumbent. It right. was in, 10 days before a vote, before yeah. the voting. And it's hard time. to beat an incumbent. Yes. Yeah. Well, the Lord, I said, Lord, what am I to do? And he says, spend most of your time in prayer with me. Well, I did just that. And then yeah. 10 days later, it was a landslide victory. A landslide see, victory. Landslide victory. <laughs> but the key is, like you said, yeah. is following the Lord and just saying yes. I mean, right. I wanted to stay home and just rest. And he said, go. Praise on God. many occasions. So I think it's vital. And in that place, the Lord has opened up many doors for us to be invited to the White House and so forth. And in the White House, even, yeah. they're asking questions. Right. And what do we do? We yeah. just follow the Holy Spirit That's and it. we tell them what That's it. the answers that we yeah. have. Be, the, be the one. That's good, isn't it? Yes. Be the yes. difference. Be the difference. Yes. That is absolutely right. Thank you guys for coming Thank and doing you. this tonight and, and taking time out of your schedule. We, we just appreciate it. We appreciate Thank your you. partnership. Thank and they have two kids in the KCBC. Yes. yes. Two of yes. your sons are at the yes. Bible College. Yes. Wow, that's great. And all over, the, all over the country. That's awesome. Well, I want you to hear now from one of our international directors, Martin Hawkins, who's going to talk to you about connection. Martin, talk to us. Thank you. Life for people today uh, is lived through a variety of different platforms really and you know it's vitally important for us as a ministry that we remain current um, and we remain relevant and I think most importantly that it's it, we make it as straightforward as we can for people to connect with us. You know, the mainstays of our ministry are um, Brother Copeland's partner letter and also our, our magazine, which has got some great teaching articles and some great testimonies in it each month. So those are two really important contact points for people with the ministry. The broadcast is a, is a really important part of our outreach and it's, a, it's just a wonderful opportunity to um, be able to provide uh, a, a broadcast to people uh, each day that they can plug into amazing high quality teaching um, and of course people can watch that on conventional television or they can watch it through the web or um, other, other devices that they choose to use and also our social media is really important that the ministry that we have with people uh, through different social media uh, opportunities but that's that's a great interactive way that we can be connected with our partners and you know it allows us to respond quickly to prayer requests that people have or if people need a prayer of agreement we can jump on it right away and just uh, just get get with them and pray and support them and encourage them um, but also, you know, the opportunity to supply people with our, with our books and uh, our CDs and the different teaching media that, that we have. You know, it's really important to our partners that they can connect with the ministry and connect with our teaching resources. When they're on the move, they're still able to really easily access uh, KCM materials. Uh, we love you partners. Uh, we can't say that enough. You know, uh, you've seen videos this weekend from two or three of our international directors. That's Martin from our UK office. You saw David Welsh from our Australian office, uh, also uh, from, uh, from our Russian-Ukrainian office. Uh, in fact, we are going to uh, Australia uh, in just a couple of weeks from now. In fact, a lot of our team gets back from this meeting uh, we will fly home tomorrow, and a lot of our team will be leaving the following Friday for the Australia meeting. That, that meeting is September the 12th to the 14th, uh, the Gold Coast Victory Campaign. And I know that's a short notice, but if you, if you guys have frequent flyer miles and time, that'd be a great place to go visit. I'll just tell you, I've been there. It's been many years, but uh, that Gold Coast meeting would be, would be really a great meeting, and we're, we're excited. We're celebrating 40 years in Australia this year, 40 years of ministry. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Uh, a lot of milestones here at KCM. When you're, when you're in the ministry, 52 years as the Copelands are, you, a lot of milestones you've come up with. Uh, a couple of quick ones, Washington DC Victory Campaign, November the 7th through the 9th. Uh, that's not very far from here at Woodbridge, Virginia. So uh, you guys can come down and be a part of that meeting, November 7th through the 9th. And next year, if you ever want to be to a Believer's Convention, next year we have two of them. West Coast, July 29th to July 4th. Southwest, 
August 3rd through the 8th. 